Okay, guys, so this is, uh, I wanted to walk you through uh, another Aomi product. This is Aomi Backer Upper, um, or Back Upper, excuse me, not Backer Upper. I always want to say Backer Upper, but it's Back Upper. Anyway, um, it's just a, a data backup tool, uh, so we're going to check this out. English, of course. That's got a nice, clean-looking little installer. Alright, I'm going to hit install now. I know this is, like, ridiculous, but I like the installer. It looks clean, and it just looks nice. I know that's weird. Don't judge me. I hate any little extra thing that sends off like data statistics. I I, I hate that because I never know fully what you know anything is sending out. And I just I don't know. I don't like it. I don't you do I don't do it with Google Chrome. I don't do it with anything. So um okay. So your this is your main screen. Uh, we can go to create new backup, and that just sends us to here. Okay. Um. Let's see here. We can back up the entire system, create an image of the system partition. That's like what I, you know, kind of like what I said with the copy partition. So if this is this would create an actual image file that you would um, actually need to use a program like this to restore, kind of like uh, with a Cronus or, or a program like that creates its own, you know, system backup file. Um, back up hard disk to an image file. That would back up the entire hard hard drive. That would just back up a, uh, of a system partition. Uh, partition backup. File backup. File sync. Okay. So file backup. You could just go select what you wanted to to an image file. And file sync, uh, the moment anything gets put on here, it would you could select a, a date and time. Yeah. You see, you can schedule, you can select what folders you want. Say you had a specific folder here on your desktop. Say you have one labeled um, documents, one you had labeled uh, graphs, one you had labeled, you know, whatever. And um, you could select each of those and then uh, select where you wanted them to be backed up to and then you could even uh, hit to schedule and you could schedule it if you want a weekly backup, a daily backup, monthly uh, if a certain thing happened real time sync as in every single time something gets put over there um, it would automatically sync over um, you could set any time that you want it done. So, I, you know, it's really handy for a lot, a lot of people. You know, I've, I've had a ton of people come in, you know, with their hard drives failed, businesses, you know, and uh, people, but, you know, individuals too, but where their hard drive has failed and they, just, they haven't backed up any of their files, you know. This is a great, simple, set it up, forget about it type of situation where you can uh, just set this up to back up your files that way you don't have to remember to do it and that way you're always secure you've always got a backup of your uh, files which is really nice um, restore this is where you would go to to actually restore a, uh, a backup file backup image file of your partition or your hard drive um, they have just a little area here by itself for cloning uh, clone one drive to another um, Again, this is this is nice because you know SSDs, uh, you know SSDs becoming more and more popular. Um, it's a pro fe feature, so you'd have to pay for it, but it's still really nice. You can uh, they have the feature in here to clone and migrate to an SSD, um, and then partition clone just to clone just the individual partitions. Uh, so that's all really nice. Um, 
you, they give you the ability to check the integrity of the image to make sure that there's no errors. Um, you can create a bootable uh, rescue media, uh, so you can actually boot from this and manage the drives that way, which is a really nice idea. And from the looks of it, yeah, uh, you don't have to have this on a. Uh, you don't have to have the pro version to do this, which is really nice. And they actually give you the option to create a uh, Linux disk or to create a PE disk. I like that they they bundled that with all this. It's it's, it's a really nice little feature. Um, ooh, you can barely see that little scroll bar. All right, merge images, merge backups into one. Now I haven't used a Cronus in a little while, but that's um, for Aomi. That that's an awesome little feature right there. Um, that's really awesome right there. Uh, import export configuration files, uh, PXA tool, um, and then you can view logs. That's actually really, really cool right there. That's actually really, really cool right there. That they would have that up. So that you could monitor everything. That, that's really awesome. That's really nice for networks. So if you've got a business. And uh, you have multiple systems up. Um, this, this is extremely nice. And it's more than worth paying for. Because that would help to take care of everything on your system so that's that's actually really really nice that's a nice uh, that's a nice feature right there that alone is worth paying for the for this program for honestly if you if you've got a business or if you've got a, uh, a home with multiple with multiple computers set up and you want them all backed up um, that's that's actually a really really nice feature um, let's check out what's up here in the menu uh, again a nice not uh, a nice open little link for tutorials, updates, what's new. So what kind of settings we've got here? Compression, very nice. Let you control how much you want to compress the files. Um, honestly, I would leave it on normal, uh, less of a chance of anything going wrong. But if you're just really, really hurting for space, you could always switch it to high. Um, you can split it up into multiple deals. Say you're backing up, and say you wanted to back them up to CDs, DVDs. Wow, they have the option for wow. That's 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 wow. Um, but you can uh, split up the image amongst multiple drives. That's actually really really nice. Um, that way, in case you don't have an external hard drive or something like that that you wanted to back up to. You could back up to a set of DVDs or CDs or something. That's nice. Um, that's nice. You can set up an email notification. Extremely nice. That lets you just select uh, what you wanted to do. And it's really nice. They put Gmail on there as its own thing. So that's really nice. You just literally just insert your email address and your password and your information. That's really nice. Um, so that you get updates about what's going on. Um, this is nice. Um, let's see, VSS is back up technique. Hmm. That's actually nice that they have, you know, they have used to put in to use the actual uh, uh, technique used by Microsoft, and then they have AOMs if you'd want to use do the backup without interrupting and restarting the computer. Huh. I haven't really seen that before, so that's, that's really awesome. And then other. I don't know check the backup on completion. That's a nice little thing. I would have that ticked just by default. That way, as soon as it gets done doing the backup, it'll go back through and check it to make sure there were no errors. Um, don't show tray icon. That's kind of a here or there type of thing. 
if you don't want your user, if you don't want like the end user to know anything that's going on, um, you could tick that so they would never even realize that something was running in the background. Um, uh, but I, I would actually like to just leave that unticked because I, you know, I like to monitor stuff like that and I'd like to actually see it come up and work. I, I like to know that something's actually working. Um, and of course, just the reset all buttons, reset all settings, <laughs> reset all buttons. Um, but there you go, guys. That's the only back upper, um, and not backer upper. Um, uh, it's a it's a great way to get all your your you know your data back up, clone your drive, back up your partitions, um, and you can even create. Uh, a bootable disk that you can use to manage all of this which is nice uh, you can merge all of your images together and like I said in the pro version too just like with the merging the pro version you can manage your whole network it's again that's that's worth paying for the program by itself I um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I'm actually really happy with this program right here um, it's actually a really, really nice piece of software. Um, hope you guys check it out. Uh, be sure to check the description for any kind of links. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Comment below. Let me know what you think and what programs you use. Uh, what other videos you'd like to see me do. Um, thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.